Gloria has a healthy and functional spine. Gloria consciously tells her body to straighten up as she bends during stretches. As this happens, her back is communicating with her brain on what is happening with the alignment and movement of her spine. Her brain receives these signals and then automatically activates the deep stabilizing multifidus muscles to help support and align her spine while she stands back up. James has an unhealthy spine with multifidus dysfunction. He's on his feet all day working around his house, but his body is not maintaining balance and good alignment due to the lack of communication with his brain. Instead, his body compensates by overworking his superficial muscles to maintain posture and stability. Unfortunately, these muscles are not made to hold the spine for such long periods of time and soon become tired and sore. Unlike the deep multifidus muscles, these superficial muscles don't function well stabilizing the spine. Therefore, the spine spends more time out of balance, being overloaded, and causing pain. James consciously tells his body to straighten up as he bends down to pick up his dinner out of the oven. Unfortunately, his back is having trouble communicating with his brain to properly control his alignment and movement while he straightens up. The part of his brain that controls the deep stabilizing muscles is inhibited, dysfunctional, and fails to activate the supporting multifidus muscles which help control the spine under this load. James is very sore at the end of his day and his body aches. He has to take pain relievers to try and mitigate the pain. His wife Gloria is worried about his condition and wants him to go see a specialist. She sees a new restorative therapy which may help reconnect the communication between his brain and spine. She convinces James to seek treatment.